Jumping into action, two Fort Pierce men being honored tonight as heroes for their bravery after a deadly accident last March. News Channel 5's Jason Hackett is live to introduce us to one of these men who put his life on the line in the face of danger. Jason. These two men were sitting on their porch when all of a sudden they heard a loud boom and saw the awful accident scene and what they did next saved a life. Is there anything you'd like to say? Um, not really. 18 <laughs> year old Joseph Gibson is a man of few words, but that's okay. His actions the morning of March 5th speak louder. We were close to the scene. We heard yelling and screaming, so we ran out to the road and there was a car out there on fire. A car carrying three men slammed into a pole on South 25th Street near Virginia Avenue. One man was partially ejected from the car. But before first responders could arrive, Joseph and another man, John Terry, sprung into action. I kind of grabbed him while he was pulling him and pulled him back and the dude came out from the seatbelt. The two making the rescue as flames engulfed the car. It was just getting hotter and hotter around us. Just hearing the yelling and screaming was the worst part about it. Fire rescue arrived just minutes later. Uh, the worst call I've seen in 17 years. One man in the car was killed, another badly burned. But first responders say considering all the obstacles in front of them, what the two Good Samaritans did was nothing short of heroic. We have our protective gear, they had nothing. So the actions that they did, I, I can say for sure that they definitely saved that person from injury or burns or even death. Honored with a Citizen Hero Award today, Joseph rejects the hero label. He says he was just doing what was right. I'd want someone to really do the same for me. And I believe like you should help out other people. Uh, the other man involved in this rescue, John Terry, he was out of town, but he will receive his award at a later date. Joseph, meanwhile, is in talks with the fire department to become a volunteer firefighter. Live in Port St. Lucie tonight, Jason Hackett, WPTV News Channel 5.